Hello subscribers and viewers, welcome back to another video. Uh, if this is your first time watching, then um, what we'd like to do here is we do a little bit of baking, some healthy, some not so healthy. Um, the past few times have been vegan recipes, vegan dessert recipes, and that's going to continue today. We are going to make uh, vegan um, banana oat cookies. So if this is your first time uh, seeing this video or first time seeing this channel, please watch some of the old videos. We've done some really delicious vegan um, desserts, cookies, cakes. We've done some um, really good traditional desserts, scones, uh, nothing healthy about them, but they tasted really good. So uh, if this is your first time checking out, then um, please, please do subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, tips, please leave them as well. We like to be interactive. If you have anything uh, you, you know, want to know, I'm more than happy to answer it. Um, if you like the video, then like it. If not, then um, you know, hopefully you like the next one. But uh, we're gonna get started today with these amazing vegan um, oh, banana oat cookies. So the first thing I started out with was I just put half a cup of unsweetened applesauce into here. If you prefer, you could use a half a cup of vegan butter. I just find the applesauce gives a little sweeter taste and makes it a little more moist. So to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar. Uh, you could even use coconut sugar if you like. So I'll just give that a break up the brown sugar and we'll give this a nice little stir. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried the uh, chocolate cake that we did yesterday, but I brought it to work today and I gotta tell you, it was a huge hit. So we have this all nice and mixed up together well. Now for the next few ingredients, what I'm going to use is a regular kitchen digital scale. and. Uh, I just prefer to use the digital scale. I find it to be just a little bit more accurate and um, easier to use. So I'm just going to put this on here, zero that out so that we have an even weight. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to add in 125 grams of plain white flour. Um, I'm not sure how many cups, half a cup or a cup or whatever that works out to be off the top of my head, but I will definitely look it up and I will leave it in the description along with the rest of the recipe. So right now, um, uh, right now I, I put in about two, a little less than two thirds, or so, 120 grams, 121, uh, 125.5, perfect. So we have 125 grams of um, flour in there. Next, we're going to add in the banana. So I just have a plain ripe banana. Peel it quickly and we are going to add in about 125 grams of banana as well. So we're going to give it a little mash with your fingers as you do so. Mm. 
Okay, so we are over the last. Let me grab another banana. Okay, we are at 126 grams. So I came in just a little bit over on that one, but that's okay. So we have 125 grams of uh, banana in here. Um, you can mash it ahead of time. I like to just put everything in and mash it as I give it a nice little uh, stir. So we're going to set that back to zero. And now we're going to put in 144 grams of uh, dry oats, rolled oats. So we're in. Okay. 144.5. Perfect. Just a sh half of half a gram over. Okay, so that's it for the scale portion. I'm just going to set that aside, make a little bit more room, and let's see. I'm going to give this some all a nice stir and get all that banana mashed in with everything else. Let me just turn that screensaver off for you guys. All right, and here we are. Mash all this up nice together. It's coming together nicely. Okay, so we have all of that mashed up nicely. Okay, so let's get on to the next part. So next we are going to add the vanilla extract. And for that we are just going to add a teaspoon. There we go, I know I took a teaspoon out. Okay. Just throw that in there, get it out of the way as we go along. All right. Um, next, we are going to add a teaspoon of cornstarch. We're going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder. We are going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, I do prefer kosher salt myself, but that's completely up to you. Okay. We are going to add three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I just absolutely love this brand. Um, Anthony's, I've talked about them in other videos. They make um, organic, gluten-free products, and these are fantastic. I use Anthony's. Uh, cinnamon, I use their turmeric, I use their shredded coconut, their coconut powder, their coconut flour, their uh, almond flour, tapioca flour, just everything, everything that I use for baking, I usually get from there. 
So we're going to put in a little quarter, two quarters, about three quarters of cinnamon. thing we're going to put in is a half a teaspoon of clove, crown cloves. So, I'm going to get a clean spoon and we're going to give this all another mix in. Get all that combined. Uh, the dough is going to be wet. That's going to be normal. That's okay especially if you use the applesauce, but it's going to just be fine. So we're going to mix this all up. The banana already smells fantastic. good to me so um, this is what we're left looking like and I'm going to take a pause right here and I'm going to spread these out what I do is put them in um, on parchment paper on a baking sheet we're gonna bake them at 350 and I like to put these ones just to give them a nice uh, size so they have a nice size to them um, two tablespoons worth. Two tablespoons worth should make you about 15 cookies. So um, I'll do that and then I will show you what they look like before they go into the oven in one minute. I'll be right back. So we're back. I um, just took a couple of minutes and this is what I came up with. So uh, three, six, nine, twelve. Um, Usually it makes a little more, but as you can see, I kind of made bigger cookies than two tablespoons. I put kind of like two heaping tablespoons worth, so these are going to be nice, healthy size cookies. But um, they go in the oven now for 350 for 15 minutes. So I'm going to put these in the oven. I'm going to take a break from this video and clean up the kitchen here while these bake. And I will see you guys back in about 15 minutes, and we will see what these look like when they're all finished they're gonna be delicious see you guys soon 15 minutes has gone by these are out of the oven and I gotta tell you they smell amazing these are going to be delicious so um, if you have any comments about those cookies, or if you try making them, I'd love to hear how they come out for you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask. And as always, if you have any requests, anything specific you may want to see, um, please ask for that as well. I'm being more than happy to try uh, anything you know you guys may want to see, whether it be vegan, non-vegan, um, gluten-free. So. Um, Leave any kind of comments in the uh, down below and let me know what you think if you try making them. And um, like I said before, if this is your first time checking this channel out, please view some of the older videos. We've made um, vegan avocado cookies. We've made vegan uh, cookies with uh, zucchini. We've made a vegan chocolate cake. We've made uh, vegan snack bars. Um, for St. Patrick's Day, we did all kinds of Irish stuff. Uh, there's a couple of different scones recipes. And um, so for now, we're going to stick with the uh, vegan healthy theme. But uh, if there's something you want to see that's not so healthy, let me know. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe uh, next week after a good week of solid dieting, I will uh, make some, something, uh, you know, a little different, a little sweeter, a little not so healthy, but maybe something a little tastier so um, if you have any requests for that please feel free to let me know otherwise um, you know enjoy baking uh, please let me know if you've tried making these cookies and what your thoughts were 
and um, keep watching, keep subscribing. Hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.